Hello everyone, this is Damon with Pixnub Software. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a basic workflow for extracting green screen images with Easy Green Screen and putting those into a multi-layer digital template. For the standard workflow I like to do if I'm not batch processing, is I like to open several images at the same time. And in this case, I've got two images open, but typically I like to work in batches of five or 10. And then I'll also open up the template I'm using at the same time. You can also open more than one. So if you have, you know, three or four different templates that you are putting different images in, you could um, open up all of those templates. You just don't want to have too much open so you're not um, using up all of your memory or your computer memory, that is. So to start, I'm just going to extract one of these images with Easy Green Screen. And this will take just a few seconds to extract here. I'm going to leave everything with the default settings for this example, but I will show you that you have a selection for output layers. By default, that's selected all layers. You can also output a single layer only. I'm going to do one image with each so I can show you the difference. I'll just apply that. And what that all layers does is it outputs a non-destructive layer set. So you've got a mask and you can go and touch up your transparency in your image as well as you've got a spill correction layer and a manual spill correction layer here. Now with all these layers you need to um, copy and paste differently than if it was a single layer. So I'll show you here. The first thing you need to do is select all. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts that you see in the menu but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the menu for everything so you can see what I'm doing. Now, you can see the selection is made around the image. You've got the um, marching ants, as they call it, around the image. Now, if you were just to do a uh, regular copy, I'm actually going to demonstrate a regular copy because this is not what you want to use. You actually want to use a copy merged. But I'll show you the regular copy, what happens if you do that. Since we've selected one layer and we've copied, and we go into our template and always make sure you're on the layer that you want to paste above. So I've selected the background layer there and then edit paste. But what happened since it was multi-layer and I just did a regular copy, it just copied that original green screen image, which is not what we want. So what it did was it copied this original green screen image without the transparency and without the spill correction. So what we need to do instead, we've still got the image selected, is do an edit and a copy merged. Now what a copy merge does is it copies as if all of these layers were merged together. Basically it's what you see is what you get. You can also merge them all and do a regular copy, but it's easier just to do the copy merged. Now when we go back into our template, I'll select the background layer again and then edit and paste. So now you see the um, layer is above the background and it's below all of these overlay layers. Now you can have as few or as many overlays as you want, but just make sure that you are selecting the layer you want the foreground to go directly above. So the next thing we have to do is scale this. And I'll point out too that if you're going to scale multiple times, you may want to make this uh, layer into a smart object. This is optional. If you right click and convert to smart object, that is going to save the original pixel information. So if you scale down too far and need to scale back up, you're not going to lose quality. But typically when I'm doing a batch of posters in, I'm doing this in manual mode, not in an automated batch processor. Um, but if I'm doing a batch of images and I'm only going to save one time or print one time, I don't do this as a smart object. I just scale one time and call it good. So to do that, you'll um, make sure you're on your foreground layer still, and then edit, transform, and scale. And I'll point out that you've got a um, preserve aspect ratio button there. If you check that on and you grab your handle to scale, it's always going to keep the width and height percentage the same. So your aspect ratio doesn't change and you don't distort your image. You can also hit shift or the shift key when you do this and it will do the same as if you had that checked. So either way it works. 
Also, you've got an interpolation, so you can um, select what scaling method you use. And I just usually leave it at bicubic automatic. And I don't believe this is an option on CS5 or earlier. I think CS6 was one that was implemented. For CS5 and earlier, you have to set that in your preference. But in any case, typically just leave that alone and don't worry about that. And so I'll scale this in place. And you can also move the image. If I click in it and drag, you can move. So you can do the moving and scaling in one step. And as soon as you're happy with where the image is, you just um, accept it with the check mark. And that applies your scaling. So now the last thing in, in this particular template, there's um, a player's name that I would want to go change. So in the overlays in this template, I've got a um, first name and last name. So if you double click on the text layer, it's going to highlight it so you can um, change the text. And that's pretty much it. So now this template is um, ready to save as. You could save that as a different format, such as a JPEG or a TIFF. And you could also at this time, of course, go print that is if you were like maybe doing it on site or something you might want to print on site. But now we're ready for the next image. So after you've done what you're going to do with that image, don't close this. Instead, um, just either go back in and delete this layer by dragging it down into the trash can. Or you can come up to the top and just go back to your original template. And so now you're ready for the next image. You just you know, select the next image you want to run. And then on this one, I'm just going to show you real quick um, the single layer output. So on the output layers, it's selected all layers. You can select a single layer foreground only. And if you want to change the default, so when it extracts every time, this is always what it does. In your preferences, um, the layer output default selection, you can set it to single layer foreground only if you want. And then you would um, save the preferences. And so now anytime Easy Green Screen runs, this drop down will automatically be set to this single layer. And you could always go change it back if you wanted to switch it back um, to all layers again. So now when I hit apply, you see we've just got um, one layer. And so select all. Now you can use the regular copy or the copy merged, it doesn't matter. I'll, sh I'll just use, use the regular copy here and then go back to the template, highlight the layer. We want to paste above. So now you see with the regular copy in a single layer, that works just fine. And then of course you would go through the same procedure of scaling and replacing the text. Anyway, that's about all there is to it for doing a green screen extraction and putting into a digital template. If you're interested at all in easy green screen, please be sure to visit our website. That is pixnub.com.